This video will cover launching a basic network scan in Tenable I.O. The goal of this video is to identify vulnerabilities in your assets by using a non-credentialed network scan. This type of scan is great for running assessments against assets that you do not have credentials for. To begin, navigate to the Scans section. Click the New Scan button. The template that we'll use for this is called Basic Network Scan. Enter a scan name and, if desired, a description and a folder to put the results in. Choose a scanner based upon the assets you wish to scan. If you are scanning public assets that you own, choose one of the available cloud scanners in a region that is close to your targets. If you are scanning private assets, choose a scanner that you have deployed within your network. In this example, we'll be scanning private assets. Next, enter the IP address ranges or DNS names you wish to scan. When finished, simply launch the scan. You can see the scan has entered a running state. When the scan is complete, click on it to navigate the results. Since this is the first time this scan has been run, the History tab shows a single entry. The Scan Details section provides some details about the scan, such as the scanner used and how long the scan took to complete. The Assets tab tells us that five hosts have been identified and scanned and also gives us an overview of the vulnerabilities, identified operating systems, and device types. These donut charts can also be hovered over to get details about each data point. The Vulnerabilities tab lists all discovered vulnerabilities across all assets in the scan. The overview charts provide an at-a-glance view of common metrics related to vulnerabilities, such as severity, exploitability, and more. The Remediations tab provides a concise list of vulnerabilities that you can prioritize to reduce risk on assets in this scan. For example, updating the Linux kernel will resolve 11 vulnerabilities on one asset. For more details on a particular asset or vulnerability, you can click on items from the Assets or Vulnerabilities tabs. When we click on an asset from the Assets tab, we can see all of the vulnerabilities discovered for this asset. In addition, in the Asset Details section, we can get more metadata about this asset, including IP address, domain name, operating system, and more.